And now we'll enable and configure the consumption meter. The first pop-up indicates to us that we absolutely must not install consumption CTs on the load side of Empower. This is to verify that we understand this. We'll confirm by tapping confirm. We're asked what type of system configuration is this? This is a partial home backup with the consumption CTs placed between the utility service and the main breaker. So that's correct. We'll go ahead and tap next. Now we're displaying the home loads with no PV. This is strictly the loads. It's asking us to switch off PV breakers to verify that we don't have PV turned on. We do not, so I will tap next. The next step asks us to turn on a known load, a higher load, and we want to observe what happens to our meter. We've just now added a fairly large load, and we can see that our load values have gone up. So I will tap that I followed the instruction to turn on a known load and verify that it is going up as it should. My total home load has indeed increased by several hundred watts. So I'll click yes, and I will click next. And now we're instructed to turn on the PV breakers so that we can add energy production into the mix. So currently we're consuming 562 watts. I will turn on the PV breakers and this should take about a minute for my PV to ramp up in my system. And so I've turned on the timer and we can see that our loads are now uh, covered with our PV production, which already has been producing. So we are now exporting 2.3 kilowatts and servicing our loads. So I'll click next. Now our net power is exporting to the grid. That's our PV, which is feeding our loads. 2.3 kilowatts is exporting. I'll click next. And now the very last step in this is to enable the consumption meter. Both meters are now configured and done.